What if you could make floating text, sci-fi scenery, or even destruction effects with just one tool? That's the power of the 3D camera tracker effect in After Effects. Today I'm gonna to break down five easy, creative ways to use it. Let's dive into it. The first one we're gonna break down, you've probably seen everywhere. Floating 3D text immersed in your scene. Perfect for title sequences or cinematic effects. Here's how to do it. Okay, so I have a shot here of kind of an apocalyptic wasteland and I have my reference text right here. I'm gonna hide that for now and I'm gonna select my video layer. I'm gonna go to track and stabilize, track camera, and I'm gonna let that analyze. Okay, so then when it's done analyzing, I could take my track point size and I could bring it up and I could go through the scene and try to pinpoint where I want my text to be. If you're spending more time making your edits look good than actually telling the story, then you need this. Introducing Jemu. Captions auto-generated. Want them in another language? One click. Make a word pop? One click. Add B-roll that actually fits? Yep, one click. You could even apply a whole viral subtitle look in, guess what? One click. Jemu lets you skip the boring stuff and get straight to the fun part, making cool stuff. So check it out for yourself, it's kind of amazing. Click the link in the description to find out more. Okay, so I'm gonna select an area right around here, and I'm gonna go create text and camera. And then I'm gonna take my reference text, I'm gonna copy that, and I'm gonna hide it. And under this text layer right here, I'm gonna scale it up quite a bit, and I'm gonna rearrange it a little bit. So then I'm just gonna select my text, and I'm gonna paste my reference text, which will just paste the same style and formatting that I had. And after just readjusting this, and boom, now your text looks like it's really in the environment. The next one is screen replacements. Swapping out billboards or screens has never been easier using this effect. Okay, so the same as before, I have a shot here and I already applied my 3D camera tracker. You can see the points that are already applied. And I also added a key light effect to key out this green here so I could add my layer right kind of below this layer. So with my 3D camera tracker selected, I'm gonna just go ahead and select the points that are inside of this billboard. And you see the arrow right there. I'm gonna click on create solid and camera. And it's gonna create a very small solid. I'm gonna scale that up and hitting command shift Y. I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust. I'm gonna unlock the aspect ratio and I'm gonna adjust the width and height to kind of cover all of this area here. Move that over, it's pretty good. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this track solid, I'm gonna pre-compose it. I'm gonna do leave all attributes in this layer. So I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna double click on this layer and it's gonna open up a nice pre-comp that could lay in my banner. So I'm just, for fun, I'm just gonna put in my YouTube banner here. So then going back to that layer, you see it shows up there. So now the only thing I have to do is I have to bring this to the bottom. So now that key light effect really comes in handy because now this billboard kind of sinks into the layer. And just like that, you've added a flawless screen replacement. Now let's get futuristic with some sci-fi stylizing. So I have a shot here of a gentleman sitting on a beach on a really foggy, hazy day. And you see, I already added a lot of my elements that I generated and 3D camera tracked, but I'm gonna add one more here, which is a nice foreground element. So I'm gonna select my 3D camera tracker. And you see all the points down here. And I'm just gonna add a spot here right in the foreground. And I'm gonna do create solid and camera like I did before. And hiding that track solid, I'm gonna take this foreground element and I'm gonna make sure that it's a 3D layer, which it is. And I'm gonna take the parent pick whip and I'm gonna select and I'm gonna hold shift and I'm gonna select the track solid. So then once I parent that, I'm gonna adjust my scaling and my position. And you see just like that, it maintains that same movement. Another pretty amazing way to add VFX to your footage. So getting further into the VFX route, if you wanted to add stuff to your scene like destruction or cracks to your foundation or anything that is visually in your scene, the 3D camera tracker is your best friend. All right, you see I have a clip here of a wall and you see I already did the 3D camera tracker. So I'm gonna select a nice big portion right here and I'm gonna create solid and camera. So I'm gonna show you a little bit different technique here. 
I could take one of my layers that I'm gonna overlay with my track solid selected. I'm gonna drag and hold option and take the place of that track solid. And you see, it's right there. So from here I could scale it up, reposition as I like. You see it maintains all the same parameters as that track solid. That workflow was one of my personal favorites. Now let's dive into the 3D world and add some 3D elements into our scene. All right, so I have a nice gentleman here meditating in a nice beautiful forest. And I have a GLB file of a tiger animated GLB of him just kind of roaring and not even disrupting this guy's meditation. So I have my 3D camera tracker already set. And you see all the points there. I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna select a nice area right below my tiger. And I'm gonna do create solid and camera again. I'm gonna hide that. Then I'll take my tiger GLB and I'm gonna hold shift and I'll parent that and pick whip it to the track solid. And you see it maintains that same camera movement. Pretty awesome. Just gotta start compositing now. As with any of these, with some nice color correcting and some compositing, you could blend any of these effects flawlessly in your scene. Which one of those was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and here's some of the final results.